the full loop antenna for VHF which I had made yesterday could be mounted in multiple configurations. So I decided to test the delta loop configuration with feed point at the lower part. The matching was done using a quarter wavelength piece of 75 ohms RG6 TV cable instead of the 4 is to 1 balance. A piece of electrical wiring channel was fixed at right angles on a PVC pipe with a diameter of about one and a quarter inch and it was two meters long. Marked 35 centimeters to either side and fixed portions of the loop at either ends so that it will be the upper part of the equilateral triangle. Lower part was fixed on the PVC pipe itself and below that the matching section was there. I used just electrical tape to fix it because this was a prototype and this is not the final version. I am just going to test it. Feed line was 15 meters of RG213 cable which I had surplus in my shack. The antenna was mounted on the parapet of first floor terrace on that uh, 2 meter long PVC pipe so that the total height uh, from the ground will be about uh, 6 meters. You can see my mock on Yagi beside it which is a little more higher than this antenna. Now I am on Calicut repeater frequency 145.625 with uh, minus 600 shift and uh, I can get easy access with full scale deflection of uh, 12 segments on my signal strength meter. I am now on Thiru repeater frequency 145.450 negative shift 600. I can get access fairly well. Signal strength for Thiru repeater which is about 30 kilometers from here is 8 segments while that of Calicut repeater which is hardly 3-4 kilometers from here is full 12 segments. Next step was to check the SWR using an SWR meter for which I used a patch cable with PL259 connectors at both ends to connect the radio to the SWR meter. Now I am going to test SWR on the reverse of uh, Thiru repeater frequency 144.850 you can see that it is below 1.2 and above 1.1 I have tested it 3 or 4 times. Now I am going to change to Kannu repeater. You can see that uh, the SWR again is around 1.2. Next I have changed to Vadagara repeater. That also similarly SWR is uh, nearly 1.2. This is Kori code or Calicut repeater. SWR is a little more lower or almost 1.2. Next I will test. This is Wynard repeater on a lower side. That is also having similarly low SWR below 1.2. The SWR in this cross needle SWR meter is measured at the crossover point of the two needles. That is how you test it. Now I am testing the uplink frequency of International Space Station 145.990 that is also acceptable SWR. Now for a curiosity sake I checked on the downlink frequency of International Space Station and it is higher a little bit uh, maybe around uh, 1.4 or so. I am happy that overall SWR is good in VHF band and even UHF band it is reasonable though I am not planning to transmit on UHF because International Space Station needs only reception on UHF. Next step will be to test reception 
during net timings for VHF and possibly listening to some passes of International Space Station which are of high elevation which I presume could be picked up at least partly with this delta loop antenna. Still later maybe I'll have to elevate the height a little more because this is now much lower than my other antennas. What remains is mounting this antenna and starting to test SWR tuning. All those are tough jobs. I'll do it on another day.